Chuck Berry, music stars pay tribute to rock and roll icon. The United States singer-songwriter Bruce Springsteen said he was the greatest pure rock and roll writer who ever lived. Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones said Barry lit up our teenage years, and blew life into our dreams of being musicians and performers. The guitarist and songwriter died Saturday in the U.S. state of Missouri after a seven-decade career. Seen as one of the fathers of rock and roll, he influenced generations of succeeding musicians, most notably the Beatles, the Rolling Stones and the Beach Boys. Beatles drummer Ringo Starr quoted one of Barry's own lyrics on Twitter, saying, just let me hear some of that rock and roll music any old way you use it. He wrote he was playing Barry's 1961 song I Am Talking About You, which was recorded by the Beatles at the BBC in 1963. Singer-songwriter Huey Lewis described him as maybe the most important figure in all of rock and roll. His music and influence will last forever, he added. Rocker Alice Cooper tweeted that Barry was the genesis behind the great sound of rock and roll. All of us in rock have now lost our father, he said. Motown legends The Jacksons tweeted, Chuck Berry merged blues and swing into the phenomenon of early rock and roll. In music, he cast one of the longest shadows. Thank you Chuck. Berry was known for trademark four bar guitar introductions and quickfire lyrics that reflected the rebelliousness of 1950s teenagers. His hits included Johnny Be Good, Roll Over Beethoven, and Sweet Little Sixteen. However his only U.S. and U.K. number one hit was My Dingaling, a novelty song replete with innuendo that was recorded at a gig in Coventry in 1972. He received a Lifetime Achievement Grammy in 1984 and was among the first inductees to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1986. Both the Beatles and the Rolling Stones covered Barry songs, as did the Beach Boys and scores of other acts, including Elvis Presley. If you tried to give rock and roll another name, John Lennon once said, you might call it Chuck Berry. The novelist Stephen King noted that Berry had a long life for a consummate rock and roller, tweeting, Chuck Berry died. This breaks my heart, but 90 years old ain't bad for rock and roll. Johnny be good forever. Berry was born in St. Louis, Missouri, in 1926, and had his first hit, Maybelline, in 1955. He went on to score a succession of hits that were aimed at adolescent audiences, transcending the color bar that plagued many contemporary black artists. Last year, he announced he would be releasing his first album in nearly four decades. He dedicated it to his wife of 68 years, the Metadotti. The album, entitled Chug, was recorded in St. Louis, Missouri. It will be released later this year, though a date has not been set. His death was confirmed by police in Missouri. The singer was found unresponsive at 12.40 local time, 17.40 GMT, on Saturday, St. Charles County Police said in a statement. He could not be revived and was pronounced dead at 13.26, 86.